Other interesting political news, you have Vivek, Ukraine banning political enemies and giving a war to a Nazi going viral. Now, this is one of his highlights on GOP debate. And this was tweeted by a gal by the name of Michelle Hashtag FJB. And she said before the clip, quote, this enraged me. Vivek is the only candidate not afraid to tell the truth about Ukraine. What are your thoughts on the ex exchange? Level with the American people on this issue. The reality is we just because just because Putin people. is not an e Putin's an evil dictator does not mean that Ukraine is good. This is a country that has banned 11 opposition parties. A win that has for actually, Russia is a that win is not for true. China. We're driving Russia. For Russia. Excuse is a me. Win for China. Excuse me. If you'll have but a chance, I forgot you like you'll China. Have, That's no, why you're you'll open. have you'll have your chance in just. I like how Nikki Haley, in pure cliche form, ignores the whole first part of his point. Remember, he just said Ukraine banned 11 other political parties. And don't forget, they won't have elections unless the U.S. pays for it. They actually banned ele elections earlier. And people who critique that say they're at war. The United States has never, ever banned elections. Granted, we are also the pinnacle of freedom for now. Hopefully we keep that trend going. But nevertheless, back to the clip. Just a moment. Yeah. The hurling personal insults isn't helping. China is the real enemy, and we're driving Russia further into China's arms. We need a reasonable peace plan to end this, especially this is a country whose president just last week Vivek, was hailing a Nazi in have ranks. Ukraine that's a and green light to China is, to take Taiwan. We need a peace reasonable peace comes plan through strength. To peace. Governor Christie, the Communist Party of China is the real enemy. Governor Christie, President Governor Christie, President Biden's first two years have brought level with the American people on. I don't know why it maybe some people are arguing it's a bug and not a feature but Twitter always has the little video redo it as soon as they actually end the video it just repeats and it makes a good point a lot of people are forgetting which side Ukraine was on in World War II um, they recently as well as I believe Canada got some egg on their face or in, the, in their case socially being a faux pas they got some maple syrup on their nose they actually did get they gave a reward and praise to a Nazi. And then when they were critiqued about it, they said, oh, no, no, it's just dis disinformation. A scary trend in and of itself when all the facts are just called disinformation. Interesting. Now, in terms of the comments and feedback from this tweet, you had Nikki ha uh, uh, Michelle responding to her own tweet, which I suppose is a thing. I didn't know I could do that. A little narcissistic, but I'll allow it. Now, she says, quote, Nikki Haley and Mike Pence need to suit up and head over to the Ukraine to help them fight those evil Russians. Meanwhile, Zelensky has a kill list of high-profile Americans who dare question the war. Freaking idiots, I swear to God. And she uses the eye roll emoji, unquote. And she got 120 likes. So pretty darn popular. Let's see here. Someone by the name of Dennis critiques the clip saying, quote, even though he is saying all the right things, I don't trust him, unquote. And that got 26 likes. Other feedback, one from Valerie says, quote, unquote, Vivek is right, unquote. She got 35 likes. Someone by the name of Lee said, just simply, quote, unquote, he spoke the truth and he got eight likes. Let's see. Eh, some pejorative. You have Jimmy Sisson saying weak, although he didn't get any likes. At all. Does he? And hilarious enough, his profile says not politically motivated. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. So there are some negative comments. Someone by the name of do, 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 Village Wolf saying he's still not qualified for the highest office in the U.S. Uh, no likes for that, though. Someone by the name of American357. A good magnum. I appreciate that name. This person says, quote, Tim Scott is a donor-owned smiley face, unquote. Um, this person, that little tweet response got three likes. Let's see here. Somebody named Lady Knight Rose said, quote, I can't stand Pence and Haley, and they showed their colors in this outburst. Even though Vivek was an attack dog most of the debate, he is the only one calling the end to the war, unquote. This person got 18 likes, which interestingly enough, again, 
terms of the acumen and intelligence of Fox News, what is it? Where, where's that bar? Negative these days? They skipped a lot of social questions for the debate and a lot of the important other questions like, yeah, what, what's your plan to actually get out of this to boondoggle, as some might call it? And where would you put the resource allocation? You certainly care about those borders, interestingly enough. But nevertheless, they, they probably just need a couple, another hundred billion. Maybe that, maybe that's all it takes. Maybe. We've only given over a hundred billion dollars in cash as well as, you know, physical material. Let's see here. Mr. Average U.S. Father says, quote, Psh, Pence talking strength. He is as about as strong as a wet paper straw, unquote. Person got 27 likes. So it does look like, look at the comments here, a, mo a majority, I'd say 90% of them are positive comments. I'd say that there are maybe 5% who are, are positive, but not endorsing him. So a lot of people are saying he could get a cabinet position. A lot of people are saying he's, they appreciate, they like what he's saying, but they don't think he's politically ready. And then there's another fair amount of percent saying that they just do not want him. They don't trust him. He should be out. But overall, I'd say, interesting take and it is eh, i'd say overall is a positive response now, of course we'll look at the polls in the future what's that correlation between social media and when it comes to actual polls that'll be interesting to see but in that regard we're going to have to say time shall tell thank you everyone for taking the time to do it in today i know it's ambitious but we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of october so if you can click that button i would greatly appreciate it also the additional comments as well as the likes are greatly appreciated as i really do like the feedback, I try to respond to all the all the comments when I can, and even if it's harsh, I appreciate the critique because that's how I make the show better and better. We're continually trying to examine and test new software capabilities so that we can do the picture in picture. So when I'm referencing some of these clips, you'd be able to see them in real time. If you have suggestions, I would greatly appreciate it. I tried a couple over the weekend, and again, unfortunately, they just didn't pan out. And I don't know if it's because I'm currently using the 4K Razer Hiken or Kaizen. USB web camera and OBS software, then a little USB mic. So if you have such, and for some reason, the picture in picture won't work. It'll only use one or the other. So let me know if you have any suggestions. I really appreciate it because I do want to make the show better and better so we can all have a good time, so to say. Also, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.